Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rosegale Sandbox. Yes, I'm finally back, and this time I'm not going anywhere, I promise. Um, but today we are going to be finishing off this military base. Now, if you haven't seen in our last episode, which admittedly was quite a while ago, we built this huge military base with a runway, a couple of aircraft hangars, a big tall tower, a very cool satellite dish, and a mean and scary looking fence that goes all the way around the perimeter. And today I want to finish it all off by adding in a road, you know, some big towers, some floodlights, a barrier, that kind of stuff. So I say let's get straight into it. The first thing we've got to do is extend this little bit of concrete. And you know me, I just had to put a little curve in the road just to make sure it looked a little bit organic. So now I want to add the white lines that sort of mark the edge of the road of where the cars drive. And that is looking rather smooth. I'm quite proud of that. I have just noticed that there aren't white lines down this section of road. So let me fill this in as well. There you go. It's just going to add that little bit of extra detail that makes it look nice and finished. So with this being the entrance way to the military base, what I'm going to do is build two big towers either side, and then we're going to have a barrier across the road, and then maybe some floodlights so everyone can see what's going on. So I think first thing we should do is build one of the towers, and then we can copy that across. And of course, it's just going to be the same style as this big thing. Okay, and after a lot more time than it should have taken, I've got this as the sort of outline. Hang on, let me get rid of these because I do not need them. But yeah, so I'm just thinking a very simple watchtower. I added a little bit of detail with a little fence on the top here and then just some glass walls and a roof for, you know, the general sort of vibe. Now, I am, of course, going to come along and do all the detailing down the edges of this building. So let's go and do that now. And there we go. We've got some details on this building. Now, the reason why I haven't put any windows on this side is because we're going to have the fence coming along here and join at this point of the building and I don't want any windows facing the outside of the military base because otherwise they become a weak point and people might be able to get in through the windows so that is something we want to avoid so I think now we can bring the fence up to meet this building and this is rather easy if you haven't seen our last episode I basically built this fence in modular chunks so literally all I need to do is copy across a singular piece and then we should be able to attach it up to there and there we go we now have a fully connected fence and to be honest, I quite like the fact that it sort of disappears into the building up there. Make sure no one, even if they get onto this ledge, they shouldn't be able to hop over the fence. So, all right, that is one side of the entrance done. Now, I know I said I was going to have two watchtowers, but I feel like it would be better if we had a little hut this side, because this is going to be sort of where all the checks and stuff happen. So, of course, the first thing we need to start this off is going to be a base for this building. And I want this to have one of those triangular shapes with a slanted roof. So, so let's go and grab a wedge. Oh, there it is. And there we go. That is going to be the shape of the building. So now let's get on a nice roof. And yeah, I'm thinking something like that is going to look pretty darn nice. And I've added the little corner post, but we now need to add some windows and stuff on the front. And I've just gone with something nice and simple to represent sort of a door and a window. And so now I think it is time to build this barrier that I've been going on about, which I'm quite excited for. First things first, though, we need to extend the road because we are going to need a little bit more room. Please ignore me struggling to select the objects there. Because, yes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one fence piece and have it sort of come out of this building like so which I'm going to copy exactly the same on this side. And then what's going to happen is from here, we can make a nice big barrier. So I'm actually going to do two levels to this. First, I'm going to build a big sort of gate situation. And then after that, I'm going to build your typical red and white stripy barrier. So <laughs> let's see what I can do. This is going to be uh, quite the challenge. So this is the sort of shape I'm experimenting with. We're going to have two big gates sort of levered together. And then I can start working on the little barrier behind. But I think this is going to look quite good. I'm now starting on the wire crossing and hopefully this shouldn't take me too long because I've managed to group some bits together. So now I've got all of these in, I've got to go and make sure that they're all the right size. 
And there we go, we have all of the wire going in one direction. Now my hope is that if I can just highlight all of this and then spin it round by 180 degrees, it should make the other side. But let's see if that's going to work. So before I go any further, I'm going to group these because it's so much easier to work when things are a group. And of course, it's given me some strange axes to try and rotate on. Okay. Okay, so let me go down by three, round by 180, and then up by three. Yes. Look at that. Oh, except for the fact that we've got bits sticking out. Why are they doing that? Great. It looks like I'm going to have to go through and make sure all of these bits are one further in. See, I love in this game that you can have groups within group. What would be absolutely ideal is if you could edit those groups within groups. Okay, so that's those two done. I've just got to make sure that these aren't sticking out now. Okay, there we go. And I think finally we've got a finished gate. Cool. And what's great about this is I can literally just copy this across to this one. So let me now go and regroup all of these. That was quite satisfying the way that you could just select all of those. And I should be able to just copy this entire thing across to the other gates. And there we go. That second one was so much easier and so much quicker than the first. All right. So I've got two nice looking gates now. All I need to do is come up with a way to join these in the center. To be honest, I think a couple little bars at the top and the bottom are good enough to solve the problem. And so now I can add the little red and white barrier which is going to let people in individually when the military base is open and if i'm being honest this is going to be the most simple thing you've ever seen i'm just going to exchange this block and then i'm just going to alternate this coloring it red and white as we go along and suddenly we've got a cute little red and white barrier which is going to rise and lower and let different people in i am just going to put a little stopper on the end of this because it does feel a bit weird and there we have it our entrance is looking pretty complete and pretty secure if you ask me so now i think we need to add the main road that this attaches onto and for continuity sake i think we should copy a section of this and take it over there to make sure our road system is looking the same. Okay, so I've brought this over and actually we've got a natural break here, which I'm not going to line up perfectly, but I am going to utilize. And all I'm going to do is just pull this bit of pavement back, pull this one forwards. Then we can extend this road to meet our main one and pull out these white lines. And then what I'll be able to do is just bring in these pavements to just cover where they join. And there we go. I know there's a little bit of a step up, but to be honest, all roads aren't perfectly even. So I'm quite happy with this. There are a couple things more I want to do today. And one of them being I want to add a whole load more foliage and stuff around this area because it's looking kind of bare. And I am also going to bring a couple of them up to ground level and use them as proper trees. Just because it is going to be nice to get a little bit more height in this area. And there we go. That is a very, very nice, sturdy and secure entrance to our military base. I've made sure to leave some gaps and stuff because because I'm definitely wanting to build more props, more stuff, some more vehicles, and even a plane in this military base. However, I think I might do the station first, because I think we'll, we should take a break and then come back to it, because it is a big project, even though it's going really, really well so far, and I'm really, really happy with what we've done today. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.